Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bits and A7 Pez trying to get to Pro Evolution Soccer 2016 content and this is a team after the Champions League agent opening binge. Iniesta, we've opted into an attacking midfielder, I think he comes out of packs as an 87 or maybe an 88 uh, and we have knocked him up already with some of the loose players we had lying around and applied them as trainers. That also brought up the rating of I think um, Isco's gone up one, Vermeulen's gone up a few, or aurier has gone up one. And also some nice little players on the bench as well if you want to make some changes. So guys, if you managed to open any Champions League agents, feel free to let me know what you got in them. I'm very curious, as one of them was free, and it was an over 80 rated player as well. We got Guarin, who you can see sat on the bench there as a centre midfielder as an 83. But it's a nice looking team. It's going to be interesting to see the adjustment from the, uh, the way we change the style of the players. So we've changed Neymar from a left wing forward to a shadow striker, which knocks him up to a 91. We've changed the centre midfielder to an attacking midfielder, and uh, I think we kept everything else the same. So the debuts you're going to see today, guys, Iturbe and also Iniesta, and I think that was it. Was that it? I'm just checking. Yeah, so that's it. Neymar, Iturbe, and Iniesta. No. Iniesta and Iturbe, they're the only uh, um, fresh new debut uh, debutants in this game. So we managed to start off the game pr passing pretty nicely, but getting caught out. Now, I'm unsure if Pro Evolution Soccer or Canada themselves were experiencing issues with lag um, in this night. Because honestly, when I, was, uh, when I was searching for certain stuff, it was taking like four minutes to get in and out of menus. And it was establishing connection and stuff. And it was even a little bit laggy in games as well. It didn't feel crisp as it did previously. So this game, pull it back to 1-1. One, he breaks on through with another lucky ball, even though our goal was very lucky, but he does make it 2-1. And um, this game continued to be loads of errors. Not only in my defence, I look at the state of that line, it is horrendous. Squares the ball over to Amrabat, and Amrabat on the score sheet. Again, he was a dangerous player. He does make it 3-1, which was an annoying score. But then Neymar, a nice bit of individual skill there, hits the post. But thankfully, Iba's there to get a simple tap in and make it 3-2. And that was the start of the com comeback. Some nice player there, Iturbe, getting on the score sheet for his first goal for the club and uh, a brilliant equalising goal. It even gets a little bit better as well. Some more mistakes made by him. Iturbia picks up the ball with burst of pace and a nice finesse pass a goalkeeper to make it 4-3. Sends it into the lead but it was a game where I was, wasn't was confident of winning because every attack he went forward he scored even from that style of corner. Now this is a question which I want to ask you guys. That style of corner which he just did where people run and attack the ball, how do you do that? Because my, um, my corners, they never set up like that which is very, very frustrating. He he then makes it 5-5. Yeah, that was fucking annoying. And then from a counter-attack, in the 90th minute, he breaks on through. Amrabat linking it with Mukanjo, who's I've never fucking heard of, but he did get a nice touch here. Um, brilliant save by the goalkeeper, but then a spectacular rebound finish does send him into the lead, and he wins the game 6-5 frustrating giving up the three points uh, considering how many goals we scored but has conceded so many which was frustrating so that's still getting used to the team the team spirit I think it was up to an 86 but I will double check that um, on the next screen but it's looking alright I'm actually like look at that guy 61% possession and on all the possession he had was on counter attacks and it fucking completely ripped me to bits so as you can see here guys team spirit is up to 95 now um, we have Iniesta on an 89 uh, anyone else going up after that last game I don't think they did Isco is dropping a little bit deep I'm thinking whether to replace him and maybe put Guarin in the team um, as this goal doesn't really do much I need that strengthy brutal player now if I could get a Felipe Melo that would be absolutely perfect now we take advantage of some horrendous I don't know what that was it wasn't even his fault the ball's bouncing everywhere and uh, we do make it 1-0 but this game was very dry we were going on the attack weren't really doing much and then we resorted to a long through ball where Ibrahimovic picks it up and uh, one touch one shot and a brilliant goal to make it 2-0 so in the dying moments of the game that's when it actually gets started getting going a brilliant cross in here here, um, headed out, and then Isco, who we're just talking about, with a nice touch and a brilliant shot into the far corner, does make it 3 0. He does manage to pick up one consolation goal, and it was a nice little, um, nice little touch past the goalkeeper there, and he does make it 3 1. And then a penalty as well, just to finish it off, guys, 4 1, and uh, the game didn't even get going to the 80th minute. So a ridiculous finish to the game there, and it does see us walk away with three points out of six for this episode alone. Dominated on possession again, and actually we're able to convert this time round, which is very strange for me. So on the next screen, guys, we do rock up against a nice-looking Bayern Munich team. Neymar up front, Royce, Diego Costa, uh, Douglas Costa, sorry, uh, Luka Modric, Keita, um, Gonlons, Mertesaka, Aga, and Cedric, and Anton, and Neuer in net, which was an interesting team. That so he must have spent a lot on balls, or got very lucky on his free agents, which I doubt very, very much. So the first goal goes from Congolo, linking the ball up to Iber. Iber strengthening off the defenders 
linking up with Neymar, and Neymar slots it underneath the goalkeeper and makes it 1-0. Nice little play that was, and I was very happy um, to score that, as it was a tough game. He was doing some nice dribbling with Neymar, that's something I definitely need to get used to. A through ball, through to El Sharari, and a brilliant finish there to make it 1-1. Tied little finish, and uh, that was the only attack he really had in the game. Um, well, I say the only attack in the game, it then went fucking 2-1 instantly. Uh, directly after our time, squared over Douglas Costa, he makes it 2-1, and I thought the game was going away. At this point, I was getting frustrated, as that seems to happen quite a lot when I do play Pez, when I start losing but thankfully a brilliant pass there for me but links up with Neymar and a nice finesse into the far corner does make it 2-2 if you guys want to rewind that and look at the style of pass didn't even press any buttons that's just like an automatic pass but it looked absolutely fantastic the next one I thought I'd try my look from range it was a finesse shot from outside the area where Neymar beats Manuel Neuer and makes it 3-2 brilliant goal and Neymar stealing his hat trick and it was a nice little game to uh, get them as well and does actually seal the victory of a 3-2 win so we get 6 points out of 9 in this game and it does actually seal get promoted into Division 8. So if you get and 60, but look at the possession, guys. Holding it very well, and it's not even time-wasting. It's playing constructively, pulling players away, and I'm happy about the way we're playing. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. So as you can see there, guys, 12 points, and uh, it does push us into Division 7, which is where it gets a little bit hard, doesn't it? So guys, leave a like rating on the video. Subscribe if you're not, and we'll back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy.